Just few days ago, we saw how they were flogging some people because of 100 Naira bread in Lagos. And here we have the video you are seeing there is a group of people almost killing themselves because of cup of curry. That is where we are today as a nation. You see, in as much as I want to be strong and let all of us bear the brunt, bear this hardship together in this country sometimes it breaks my heart to see people who deserve better suffer this much and i was just watching a video actually i was just watching a video of um uh what is it called hajia najatu who resigned from apc you see the, th the thing about nigeria everybody are just crying but the thing about some nigerians is that they forget too easily they forget too quick. That's the problem with some Nigerians. I saw the video of that woman and I say, ah, anywhere this woman is now, she will be laughing at these people. Because this woman, she resigned from the APC campaign team. Why? Because she said that President Bola Ahmed Tinibu categorically told her that he has nothing for the Nigerian people. And that woman, she resigned. She, she came out. And she came out to say it publicly. There is no name that did not call that woman. They insulted that woman. There is nothing that... I even posted the video. Even me that posted the video. I know what people told me. A whole lot of people insulted me. There is no name that did not call me. It's because I had some issues with my channel and I had to delete some of my videos. I would have linked that video so that you people will go and see people's comments in that video. I will let you guys watch the video because I watched that video and I say, ah, anywhere this woman is now, eh, she'll be laughing at these people. Let's watch the video first for me to refresh your brain so you can understand what I'm talking about. Because we they, we they forget for this country. Just look at the way people are suffering. People who deserve better. Look at the way they are suffering. Why? Because they decided to, to, to sell their bet rights. Watch this video. Mm. Okay, Hajia, you're welcome to the studio. Call me Nejatu, please. <laughs> Nejatu? Nejatu is my name. Nejatu, yes. all right. You're welcome to the Thank studio. You. Okay, so um, let's hear from you. You listen the beat to what our paper reviewers uh, talked about you, about being consistent. And uh, I want to say congratulations, Nigeria, who don't even know you, are speaking up for you. But first, let's hear from you. Why did you resign from the APCP? I want to take you first to how I even went into the campaign team. Oh, okay. okay. That's good. I was on board a flight, and there was a delay. I opened my phone, and there came a call. Somebody that I never knew. He said his name is Falake, and that he's, he's working for Tenubu. That he wants me to be a director in the civil society organization. And I told him point blank that I don't want to be part of it. Then he started to plead with me to please accept it. I said, no, I don't want to accept it because I've never sat with Tinubu to tell me what he has for us in the country general and particularly the North. He said, please, madam. He started to beg me. I said, don't embarrass me because I don't want to be arrogant. When people start to say in the name of God, do this, then you feel bad to, to say no. So I gave him a condition. He said the names will be out the next day. And he wants my name to be out as the director. I said, no, I can't accept that. Then after all the plea, I said, OK, let me meet you halfway. If I sit with Aswaju and I'm not comfortable with what he says he has for, for the North, then I have a right to opt out. And Falake said, yes, it's OK. So if you notice, when the names came out, the, the, it's the only directorate, which there were two directors, was m the, the directorate they put me, the civil su su service, the civil, um, uh, the, 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 well, the, the civil society organizations. There were two. I was made a co-director. That night, I got around 11 p.m. 
I started to get phone calls. Normally, I don't pick my calls at night. But then I saw a message saying that Asiwaju wants to talk to you around 11 p.m. So I gave them a reply. I'm waiting. Immediately they saw my text, they called me back. And Asiwaju called, called me. He says, Hajiya, I said, sir. He said, I, I respect your stance on not accepting the appointment. I said, yes, sir. Because I can't be a zombie. I just can't follow you because you said I should follow you. Let me know what you have for us up north. Because if I made a mistake on Buhari, with you, the, the, the truth is written on the horizon. So I have to know what you have for us. He said he's in London. That if I can, I should, I should uh, go over. He offered to buy me a ticket. I said, no, sir, I can afford a ticket. And then he said, can I get a hotel for you? I said, yes, that I will appreciate. I took the next Lufthansa to London. I saw him that same night. And we sat. And I said, sir, the reason why I'm not accepting your appointment is because I don't know what you have for us up north. Because in the north, every single person is either waiting to be killed or kidnapped. We can't go on like this. What is your blueprint for us? He told me that he doesn't have anything for us. I said, you, know, you mean, sir, you don't have a blueprint? He said, I can't have a blueprint because if I have a blueprint, I'll be stepping on too many toes and they might even kill me. This was what he said. I said, but sir, how can you rule without a blueprint? He said, I'll only make a blueprint after winning the election. I said there will be a lot of detractions after winning the elections. You have to keep your eyes on the ball. He said, well, you know what? Uh, if you have anything you want me to put in my manifesto, then please bring it. I told him that I have an elder. We have a network for national salvation. I have our elder. I'll go meet him in Paris the next day. The next day, I left for Paris. I didn't get to see him. But we came back to London, we sat, and we, 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 we already had a, a template. So he gave me something, we, we took something about the Almajri, because the Almajri is really a menace mm -hmm. to us up north. They have been used at cannon fodder. And when you have able-bodied men that are doing nothing in their millions, you will always get a problem. I told him about that, I wrote about that, I wrote about agriculture, I wrote about security, and so many other things. Till date, I have not been allowed to see Aswaju, to even give it to him. Then I called one of his hangers on, Ibrahim Masari. Ibrahim Masari, I called him, I said, see, look, I have this template. What happens? I need to see Aswaju to give this to him. He said, well, sorry, I'm sorry, Hajia, you are late with, because the manifesto has al already been completed. Uh, uh, Nasuri Erifai has given us what the North needs, and according to him, all the North needs is state police. I know Nasuri is a very brilliant and patriotic person. There is no way that anyone can tell me, that anyone can tell me that Nasuru will do such a thing, Nasuru el -Fai. But in any case, I just said, I, 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 I was still being patient. Then we started at the, uh, at the cam campaign council. We've never been invited for any meeting. We've never been invited for any rally. And I have gone, I have transcended, you know, going to show my face. I can't. I can't. We have an appointment with destiny. We have an appointment with posterity. I can't be condescending. I tried to be patient. In fact, I wrote my letter of resignation over a month ago. But for somebody that I had so much, so I still have so much respect for, to, that I went to tell him that, look, I'm resigning from the APC. He said, why? Because I said, one, after having sat with Aswaju, 
Aswaju told me that he doesn't have an agenda or a blueprint for any of our problems. He told me this. And then secondly, I have also tried for three months to get our northern elders, opinion molders that are in the APC to come together and go and block to Aswaju to put our requests. I saw the Lagos Chamber of Commerce giving him their requests. But these our northern elders in the APC, for three months I was shuttling from one person to the other. For us to even sit and come up with an agenda for the north, they refused to sit. So, so it's like in the APC, it's each to himself. It's each, what do I get? I have never in my life done anything for money. I'm a businesswoman. I don't, I don't do politics for the sake of politics or to get anything. I was born into a political family. My father was Nepal. My husband was killed, assassinated. I have seen so much because of his views. I have been poisoned. I was seven months in Germany. I had to have a reconstruction of my colon. I went to prison twice because of what I believe. I can't waste my time here. And I then tried to sit with other uh, 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 um, presidential, um, presidential um, candidates. candidates. Mm. They are four main presidential candidates. With Mr. Obi, we kept missing each other. I had spoken to him through my mentor, you know, in Lagos. She might not want me to, to mention her name. But I kept, we kept missing each other for one reason or the other. So I never got to sit with him. And time was on, in the essence. You see, so wherever this woman is now, she'll be laughing at these people. Because this woman, she was so vocal. She was so vocal. But what happened? They insulted her. There is no name they did not call her. Look at today. That is it for you all, my people. I'm just so cold. Like I said before, seeing these people who deserve better suffering like this because of their short-sightedness. That is the best way. That is what to call it. Decide to say your future, your birthright for 2000 naira. And today, all of us, we are suffering it. That's it for you all, my people. I just saw the video and I said, let me come share with you all. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.